Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I haven't been posting video for a while. My family and I has been through a hard time. More about that later. For now, I would like to talk about our painting process. These are the three pigments I use throughout the whole painting. It's French Ultramarine, Permanent Rose and Burnt Sienna. I want a soft background for this painting, so I wet the paper first and then I drop on Burnt Sienna. Let's catch up with life a little bit. So, um, three weeks ago, my sister-in-law passed away, which made all of us shock, very sad, and find it hard to accept the truth. Losing a family member or our loved one is a very hard and painful experience, but we all have to go through it no matter what. So we have to learn how to face the truth when the times come. But how do we face these hard situations or feeling? We can prepare ourselves for this painful situation by practice our thinking frequently. If we remind ourselves frequently that our existence is impermanent and everyone around us also the same, so when the time comes, I hope we can face it. Also, there is an advantage of thinking frequently about life is too short. So when we all realize that we don't have a lot of time living on this earth, we will be more kind to one another and live our life to the fullest. So let's get back to our painting. I drop on the French Ultramarine for the darkest area especially the shadow area and then I let the background dry before I start to paint the garlic so this is a wet on wet technique the key not to get a bloom here is to use thicker paint consistency for example if my first wash using 10% pigment and 90% water my second wash should be 30% pigment and 70% water so I find that my main garlic is still too wet to paint so I go back to the top garlic and add second layer and then I get back to the main garlic again with watercolor it's best to start with light and then you can build up your layer to get it darker but if you start too dark, it's probably hard to remove and sometimes you could damage your pepper as well. Here I'm working wet on wet. My pepper is still wet, so I drop on the burnt sienna for the root of the garlic. And then I use charging technique. Mix French ultramarine to the burnt sienna a little bit and add into the root area. When the pepper is still damp, I use my detail brush i want to add the purple lines this way the lines look soft and fuzzy some of the area of the garlic is a bit drier and the lines look um, more defined and clearer and i don't mind that it creates variation and visual interest to the painting over here i add permanent rose to burn sienna to paint the inside part of the garlic then I use clean damp brush to soften the paint edges. Here I'm using negative painting. By painting the shadow, I actually um, define the shape of the garlic skin at the same time. By adding another layer to the shading area, it's made the highlight area look brighter. Good morning, I'm back. So I know still like we need to work fast and finish it off quickly, but I just don't have time to finish it. So here I come back and I find this dry area where I need to remove. So you can just clean damp brush and um, rub it a few times until you get the soft edges. So I find that the garlic is looking a bit too light for my liking so I add another layer using glazing technique if you haven't heard of glazing technique before it's pretty much a wet on dry technique so you add to the existing painting to enhance 
the color or to darken some area. The key to successful using glazing technique is to wait for the painting to dry completely and use a tea consistency paint or coffee consistency paint to glaze on top of the existing painting. I use the violet mixture to paint the shading area of the garlic skin and I make sure I capture the shading area correctly so that it shows three dimensional of the garlic skin and where it's full and bent. Using designer white gouache to add in the root texture and then I use um, burnt sienna to paint on top of it so that it doesn't look too white. And then use the brown mixture of burnt sienna and French ultramarine to paint in the shadow area of the root. And then we are done. I hope you enjoy this painting. And especially I hope that it inspires you to find your inspiration, especially from your surrounding, in your home, your kitchen, your fridge, or in your garden. I also would like to say thank you so much for your kind support. Even though I don't have much time to paint and upload every week, you are still here and supporting my little channel. I hope this video is useful to you in some way. Life is too short to start follow your passion tomorrow. Happy painting! Music